Uh, welcome everyone to our webinar. Our sponsors today are Coupa and Tradecentric, and we'll be looking at a procurement journey uh, automation with Mars Veterinary Health. Joining us today uh, during this during this uh, presentation, we'll be going through some introductions of our team that's joining us on the call. We'll be talking about Mars Veterinary Health and their procurement journey with both Coupa and Tradecentric. We'll have a fireside chat where we get to hear uh, our audience or hear our panelists answer questions regarding this journey. And we'll close up with a Q&A. You all should have access to ask questions during the presentation. Please enter your questions into that area and they'll be addressed at the end of the presentation. Joining us today from Coupa is Annie Johnson Grafham, Director of Customer Value Management. Emma Sankar from Mars Veterinary Health, Senior Director of Procurement Systems, and Kevin Kazenmeyer, Head of Channel, Channel Development with Tradecentric. Now we'll hear from Hema about Mars Veterinary Health. Thank you, Matt. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining and thanks for this opportunity as well to share our experience in this journey. Um, so like uh, Matt mentioned, I'm Hema Shankar. I'm part of the Mars Veterinary Health Group. Uh, for those of you who don't know what who Mars Veterinary Health is, we're part of the Mars, uh, the candy company, right? Um, so there is a veterinary uh, realm within Mars. Uh, and uh, so we have uh, 2000 plus uh, veterinary hospitals across the US. And there are also like 800 plus hospitals across the world as well. So around, around, uh, other than the North America section. So um, it's, it consists of Banfield, Blue Pole, VCA. So uh, Banfield is primarily uh, like wellness plan, um, a general practice uh, uh, kind of a model, veterinary uh, 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 you know, uh, hospitals. And then Blue Pole is specialty hospitals. And then VCA is a combination of specialty and a general practice. Um, like I said, 2000 plus hospitals in the US. Um, and uh, we have our mission is to take care of our pets and the clients and make sure they are covered, they are well uh, taken care of both from the primary um, like wellness plan, uh, wellness uh, area, as well as from a specialty area as well. Um, we wanted to share like, you know, uh, how our procurement journey happened, right? Like the, our main vision is, as you know, uh, we have 2,000 plus hospitals. That means uh, we don't have a centralized uh, warehouse, if you will, to uh, to house all our inventory. Um, so each hospitals uh, tend to procure their own uh, products and services. Um, so our goal was how do we provide a great shopping experience for our hospital associates, right? Because the main focus for them is to take care of our pets and the clients. So we need to make sure we provide a system that is very ease of use, um, very user friendly. And, uh, and uh, it's like a good shopping experience so that it's a one-stop shop for our uh, for experience for our hospital associates, right? And also uh, having the different, uh, you know, uh, landscape of hospitals and the associates, the technical knowledge varies from hospitals to hospitals, right? So we wanted a system that is pretty self-intuitive um, so that they're not thinking too much about, you know, how do I maneuver through the system? Um, but instead, they should be able to go in and out and then order what the products they need and uh, and when they need it, right? So that was our goal uh, from the beginning. Um, and, uh, and with that in mind, we kind of explored uh, different options that was available in the industry. And then we picked Coupa as our procurement system and we kind of named it, branded it as, as order right for our own uh, uh, you know, area. Um, so we are using Coupa as our procurement platform across the three business units. So it's for, it's used in BCA, Banfield and Blue Paw. And, um, and so far, you know, the system has been pretty good in terms of providing us finance controls, um, having uh, you know, visibility to all our catalog items, and we are also able to grab all the data into one repository so that we are able to put some spend analytics both from both from a corporate uh, uh, view as well as to the hospital view. And it made our journey both from a commercial procurement side of things more efficient and effective as well as our finance side of things on the AP side to be more efficient and effective as well. Um, so would love to share more as we go through this uh, you know, uh, webinar.
Great. Thank you, Hema. I appreciate it. And hello, and thank you, everyone, for having us today. Um, thank you for the opportunity to join and connect. Uh, as you mentioned, my name is Annie Grafham, and I've been with Coupa for about five years. And just a little bit of a high-level overview um, for Coupa. Coupa is a comprehensive um, platform that really is harmonizing spend and process across multiple business units and geographies for really a holistic view, as Hema mentioned, um, for your, your entire uh, business spend and also gives you that control and compliance. Um, it's an easy to use platform um, that also helps enable efficiency and scalability as you um, are acquiring or as your business grows. Um, as Hema mentioned, it is a centralized platform and it helps analyze um, the global spend to be able to identify uh, cost savings and opportunities and also improve efficiency ratios. Um, with that, we can dive into uh, the procurement journey uh, with, and partnership they had with Mars Vet Health specifically. Thank you. All right. So in 2016, BCA, now Mars Vet Health, chose Coupa, as Hema mentioned, as a centralized, easy to use platform uh, for over 200 or 2,000 um, decentralized clinic, clinics over the North America region um, to be able to order both their goods and services uh, that were needed to operate their clinics. And together, uh, after that, we partnered, um, Coupa partnered with Mars Vet Health to consolidate multiple um, business units and systems into Coupa, increasing their efficiency and their overall spend visibility and um, compliance with some of their preferred suppliers. To do this, we consolidated order dates uh, for thousands of hospitals and um, decreasing the shipping costs that also resulted in improving overall demand visibility. The strategic, uh, we also worked on a strategic supplier um, strategy, which also included in partnering with the trade centric team here today to meet certain suppliers that the Mars Vet Health uh, teams were working with where they were from a technical capability and to be able to support their EDI capabilities and also expedite onboarding. And to make sure that we were tracking towards um, the goals that we had put in place for Mars Vet Health and that also Mars Vet Health had for their organization, we made sure that we tracked that within Coupa. Um, within the Coupa Insights to make sure that we were achieving those goals. So as a result of the partnership, you can see some of the metrics that we have here listed. They have achieved today 92% um, of structured spend, which really it means uh, that they have more compliance through uh, their preferred suppliers, either via punch out or catalog. Um, they have 93% of pre-approved spend. They have a 98% um, first time match rate, an estimating about 20 million in process cost to savings, both through electronic purchase order and invoices, and uh, roughly 100% of their North America, both direct and now indirect spend that's being managed through Coupa. So if you fast forward now today, the picture to the right here, they earlier this year, um, Mars Vet Health was announced as a business spend uh, management spend center award winner at our annual INSPIRE conference. And that is, if you can see, our chief uh, marketing officer, Shandar Padabarian, that is uh, presenting the Mars Vet Health with the Spend Center Award. And for the next slide. Thank you. The Coupa Link Marketplace, just to give a little bit of an overview of the Coupa Link Marketplace and the, um, the alliances that we have, the Coupa Link Marketplace uh, connects Coupa customers with apps that extend the value of the uh, Coupa's business spend management platform. It's building into um, Coupa's state-of-the-art technology um, and for with applications like uh, Slack, Microsoft Teams, and AWS Marketplace. Last year, we launched uh, what we call the Coupa App Marketplace. And this gives the third parties, such as TradeCentric, the ability to build their own experiences within Coupa. And over to today, now we have over 80 apps that have been created and that are part of the app marketplace. And with that, I'll turn it over to the Trade Centric team. Kevin, you're on mute. You're still on mute. There we go. Okay, I was muted by the organizer. Apologize for that. <laughs> well, thank you, Annie. So um, just to build on that, we're excited to be part of the Coupa App Marketplace. 
and you know with an offering that is specifically for buyers utilizing Coupa. And you know we could dive into a lot of the capabilities as a, as a follow up, but you know we're really here to talk about what our support for him and her team's goals were and what we did and what we built for them, which helped us get into this app marketplace and the offering that we now have today. So Mars Veterinary Health chose TradeCentric to help them bridge the gap between their suppliers and Coupa. Now, you may have known or heard of us as a solution for suppliers over the last 10 years, and we've enabled many supply side organizations specifically with their direct spend on punch out and automating purchase orders and invoice through their commerce platform and ERP systems and our integration platform. And we've allowed them to connect to over hundreds of procurement systems, you know, predominantly Coupa being the, the, the top here. But, you know, initially we spent a lot of time on indirect suppliers. And more recently, we started to get into the direct side. This is what ultimately led us into the offering for the buy side of e-procurement. So we're now working with buying organizations to help them enable their entire supplier base, both direct and indirect, become more compliant with their buyer's procurement systems. And this is where we began our journey with Mars Veterinary Health. So our value to Mars focused around four main themes. Being able to meet the suppliers where they're technically capable of today, providing visibility into the supply chain via accurate pricing and inventory feeds, reducing errors and reconciliation time by automating invoices, and reducing overall ordering time for users at the hospitals and clinics. So the impact of our combined efforts were felt across the entire Mars enterprise. Our technology platform allows Mars Veterinary Health suppliers to connect where they couldn't prior. This resulted in a 6x increase in suppliers onboarded on Coupa, and it cut the onboarding time in half. More suppliers, more products equaled more spend under management. And as Annie stated, the goal right now at 92% and still growing. So integrated suppliers providing punch out, providing integrated invoices, 92% and growing. More suppliers also equals greater adoption of Coupa, but also more compliance with preferred suppliers and streamline ordering. By automating the entire procure to pay process, POD invoice matching and reconciliation was expedited allowing the resources to be freed up to be more productive and focus on animal health related tasks. So that is pretty much in a nutshell, what TradeCentric has been able to provide to Mars Veterinary Health to help enable their Coupa to be the best it could be. Back to you, Matt. Okay. So now we'll have an opportunity to hear uh, some questions and some answers from our panelists. Uh, my first question is for you, Hema. First of all, we're excited to have you here to share your procurement journey with us. What were some of the big wins that you had initially when you deployed Coupa, and how did your users react to a new solution? Yeah, good question, Matt. Um, as we all know, change is hard, right? For any organization, for any one of us, change is always hard. So when we started this journey, we know our focus was two things, right? We need to make the experience very seamless for our hospitals, so so that the um, the you know they comply to the change. And then the second one is how do we make sure that we are putting the right product in front of the right uh, you know a team, right? So those two are our main goals. And with that, like I said, we picked Coupa as our uh, as our procurement platform. And um, and when it came to uh, you know opening it up to our uh, different types of hospitals, right? Because Banfield procures in, in its own way, Blue Ball Hospitals procures in its own way, and then BCA Hospitals procures in its own way. So we kind of listen to their requirements first, like how how do they procure today, and how can we design our system so that it kind of 
um, you know, gets them closer to the experience that they've had today, right? Um, so with that, we went with, uh, you know, kind of a, a different model for business units. For Banfield, we predominantly went with the punch out kind of a solution. Uh, because P Banfield hospitals pre predominantly procure through a, a distribution channel uh, for all their directs um, and then a handful of uh, outside suppliers. So we felt like the punch out option was a better option for them. But for Blue Pearl hospitals, we decided to go with the hosted catalog approach um, because that made more sense in the, with the experience that they would prefer to have. And then with VCA, it was a combination of uh, punch out and uh, hosted catalog, right? Um, there, uh, you know, the system, again, Coupa was pretty self-intuitive. Uh, so when the users log in, it wasn't like a complicated kind of maneuvering steps that they needed to follow, um, so which made it very easier for us. Um, and then in terms of uh, bringing them on board, we helped them understand the vision, right? Because the vision is, hey, by doing this, we have better control over our spend, and we are able to also focus on the right product to the right uh, team, right? So that, uh, uh, you know, we can say, hey, these are the medically qualified products that we want you to procure so that our pets are taken care of in the right way. So this platform enabled us to do that. So focusing on that vision and sharing that vision to them helped us to, uh, you know, enable this change much more easier. It wasn't an easy journey, but we were able to get to it. Uh, thank you very much. That was a great answer. Uh, Annie, you've been working with the Mars team for years. Uh, at what point in their implementation journey did you realize that suppliers were going to be challenged with automating the process to, to Mars satisfaction? And how did that impact user adoption and acceptance of Coupa? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I'd say it, it started um, probably you know a year or so in. Um, where we realized that there was a group, you know, of of suppliers that we were working with that um, did have did require EDI capabilities, and also realized not only from the technical capabilities but also from a resourcing standpoint too. Um, maybe they just required, you know, or, or preferred to have uh, assistance in that space. And so, working with and partnering with your team's trade centric team, being able to help meet those suppliers where they were, both from a technical and or resource um, standpoint, really helped expedite um, and bridge that to be able to expedite bringing those suppliers on board and being able to then help us meet those other, you know, goals and, and metrics that we were really working towards um, that you saw on one of the previous uh, screens that I shared. Got it. Absolutely. And Emma, why is full end-to-end -end integration with your suppliers important to your organization? Yeah, a couple of reasons for it, right? Again, our uh, so we don't have a dedicated team for uh, procurement, right? So we have different, uh, you know, titles, job descriptions, uh, you know, folks at, having a different level of uh, jobs at the hospital and the procuring for uh, for the hospitals. So our goal was, um, you know, one-stop shop, right? So pretty much whatever they need to procure, we want to be able to uh, have all those options to be available in the single platform. So if it's Coupa or whatever platform we open up as our procurement platform, we wanted to make sure the users are able to go there for all their needs, or at least 95 to 99% of their needs. So that was our goal. And then when we do that, it's it should be from the start to finish, right? It should be from the, the point of either punching out or uh, ordering through a hosted catalog, pushing that order to the supplier, and also making sure when the invoice comes in, it's integrated into our system so that there's no manual touch for either from a hospital perspective or from a central team perspective, right? Because the goal is we have lots of controls on the ordering side, right? When the when the folk, uh, when the folks at the hospital places order, depending on the types of products that they order and the amount they order, it goes through some approval workflow within the system. Um, so it's all that, that, you know, from a finance control standpoint, it's all managed in the front end. We want to make sure the invoicing portion is more like, as long as it matches, it has the two-way match, it should go automatically flow into our ERP system. So there should not be any manual touch from a, uh, from a hospital perspective or a central team perspective. So that was our objective. With that in mind, uh, we went through, uh, you know, we uh, again with uh, trade-centric partnership. It kind of enabled us to do the end-to-end -end integration uh, between our, uh, you know, Coupa system and our suppliers, and it has driven efficiency for our AP team as well as our procurement team. 
right? Uh, because there were there used to be a lot of manual touches on the invoice uh, portion, like cleaning up the invoice, loading the invoice, uh, etc. And also there weren't much of a control in making sure did we get charged for the right products that we ordered, right? But having a system with the, doing the two-way match, with having that integration end-to-end -end seamless integration um, with the partnership uh, with Trade Centric and Coupa, we were we were able to achieve all that stuff uh, with that integration. Well, that's terrific. Thank you. So my next question is for Kevin. Kevin, what are some of the capabilities your customers require from a partner like Trade Centric? Thanks, Matt. Um, so if, you know, if I were to think about some of the customers we dealt with, you know, they're basically looking for a partner that has deep expertise in both the e-procurement and the e-commerce integration space. And someone who not only understands their journey from a buy or supply side, but can also make recommendations on best practices or easier paths to take for successful integrations. On top of that, I mean, they also require support of the basic technology solutions like punch out PO and invoice, but then additional solutions like order acknowledgements and advanced ship notice, you know, which like Hema just mentioned, could aid in the matching of two-way and three-way matches. And then finally, they're looking for demonstrated support of the breadth of e-commerce offerings that are out on the market today. So being able to work with suppliers that have um, whatever system of choice they've utilized and be able to successfully demonstrate that they've integrated with them in the past. Thank you very much, Kevin. Uh, so Hema, what else has partnering with TradeCentric allowed Mars to accomplish? Yeah, so, uh, you know, as being part of the veterinary industry, we are pretty unique, right, in terms of uh, customers uh, for Coupa, right? So we are not manufacturing, uh, we kind of buy finished goods. So majority of our procurement is for direct side of things because we buy lots of medication, medical supplies, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and then we deal with different tiered level suppliers, right? There are high, high technically capable suppliers, uh, distributors, there are mid-tier where um, you know they they're not that technically savvy, and then they're like um, you know tier three where um, you know we deal with mom and pop suppliers for cremation and you know services like that, right? So we we had to tackle different uh, technology level suppliers. Uh, what Trade Centric helped us to do is to meet the suppliers with their ability of technology, right? So we are not forcing our suppliers to upscale their technology because trade centric is able to bridge the gap between what we expect to uh, receive from the suppliers versus what the capability of the suppliers are. Um, so that has enabled us to uh, go with the wider uh, you know, integration with majority of our suppliers because without that capability, I don't think we'll be as successful as we are today, right? Because we were able to integrate um, like hundreds and hundreds of suppliers uh, with different level of technology. And, uh, and that has made our experience a lot more, uh, you, know, uh, you know, very fruitful for our hospitals, as well as brought in a lot of efficiency, both from a, a finance as well as from a procurement side as well. Great. So Hema, can you share a little bit about uh, with trade-centric services, um, why you chose as a buyer to pay trade centric to implement some of these services versus uh, requiring your suppliers to pay for those integration services? Yeah. So um, for those of you who know about Mars, Mars is pretty, uh, you know, very um, focused on the five principles, right? Like our uh, the five principles are efficiency, effectiveness, mutuality. Uh, quality and uh, and responsibility, right? Um, for any projects that we work on, as well as any relationship that we build, uh, the goal is to have our five principle in front of us as our guidepost, right? When it comes to these integration, um, we know that our, our relationship with our suppliers is critical, right? And uh, they, you know, we normally uh, are pretty strategic when we pick our suppliers. And we also want to be very mutual when it comes to working with our suppliers too. So we don't want to uh, 
uh, pinch every single penny out of them. That's not our goal. We want them to live as we want, uh, you know, savings for our, our side of things as well. So with that kind of a principle in mind, um, we went on this journey and it's more like, a, you know, uh, we know that at the end of the day, the suppliers are going to be help, you know, uh, is, is going to benefit out of this integration as well, because at the end of the day, they in, uh, integration, integrating with us means their invoices gets in time to our system and it gets paid on time from our system too. So I know there is a benefit from a supplier side of things as well. Um, so we try to explain that to the suppliers and say, hey, we want to go on in this journey. So we want your partnership to make this more uh, fruitful for both our teams. And there are certain suppliers are willing to work with us and, uh, and build that partnership. And they might have the CXML capability themselves as well. Um, in that case, you know, the suppliers are willing to pay that integration, uh, you know, uh, whatever the cost is for the integration. Um, but for the rest of the suppliers, you know, we want to make sure Mars comes up with this, uh, you know, we showcase that, hey, it's the mutuality principle. I know we are going to get the benefit from both sides, but we are willing to take in the cost, but we would love for you to, uh, you know, provide us the resources so that the integration is built, right, at the end of the day. So with that principle in mind, we went on this journey. And so far, it's been pretty uh, well received from uh, all our suppliers. And actually, we are even ex expanding our uh, Coupa, you know, rollout to Canada. And uh, with Canada, it's a different, uh, you know, landscape. And uh, and we have had pretty su you know, successful integration so far and working towards, you know, further more, uh, you know, expansion there as well. And to the, uh, you know, across the globe eventually. So thank you. Well, if I... If I can, sorry to interrupt there, if I can add on to that also, just to clarify also the, um, we talked about paying for integrations, um, but with the Coupa supplier portal, um, it is, a, it's free, right? There, it's, it's, it's free. Obviously there are technical resources that are required to set things up, but the Coupa supplier portal is free for suppliers to add on to. However, that said, um, BCA and MarsVet Health started, you know, working with Coupa, I think it was 2016. Um, if I remember right, 2017, so it's a little bit earlier on, and they paved the way for some of the suppliers that maybe weren't already on the Coupa supplier portal as well. So, um, or maybe specific, you know, like like Hama mentioned, for some of the, the broad suppliers that she's working working with or that the Mars Health team is working with. Um, so they kind of paved the way, and there are a number, as you can imagine, over the years, you know, that supplier um, community has grown significantly over the years as well. So some of those are already existing, but that for the Coupa supplier portal itself, which obviously a CXML is part of that. That is that is a free a free service in there versus paid. Got it. Annie, I appreciate that very much. And Hema, you you started to answer my final fireside chat question before we jump into audience QA. But are you done? Or is there more opportunities to improve on automation and integration? And how are you planning to expand the program? Yeah. No, as we all know, the procurement journey is never like a finished product, right? We're always looking for opportunities to make things better, uh, more automated, more, um, you know, uh, expansion in terms of the user experience and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, in that in that angle, we, we are partnering with Coupa to kind of be, uh, you know, from a customer standpoint, providing them input in terms of how can you make the system you know, even more uh, better than what you have today, right? From a from a veterinary side of things, right? Because uh, you know, certain uh, platform can be built for certain industry, and then we are definitely providing input from the veterinary side of uh, the you know uh, side of things to help enhance the system as well. Um, so our goal is, um, you know, there are still more opportunity to enable uh, multiple suppliers. Like to Annie's point. Um, there are suppliers that we still need to extend, uh, you know, on the Coupa, using the Coupa supplier portal uh, integration. Um, as Annie mentioned, it's free of charge. So, but um, uh, it's like helping them to build that muscle, helping the suppliers to build that muscle, and making them uh, understand how easy it is uh, is is part of our journey as well, uh, because that will make us to le get less and less of manual invoices from our suppliers, right? Right, because that's the goal to minimize the amount of manual invoices that we get in our AP system and to maximize the automation, whether it's CXML or EDI through uh, Trade Centric and the rest of the thing, or CSP or SAN that is available as part of the Coupa. Um, so we are 
rolling things out to Canada, uh, which is v under part of the VCA uh, umbrella. And we are also planning on a global expansion as well to our Anacura and Linnaeus, our sister companies in um, European, European um, continents there. So, um, so two things from an expansion, right? Uh, make the platform that we currently have and then make it better. And then um, also extend this procurement uh, platform to the rest of the Mars business units as well. Got it. Thank you so very much. Uh, and what a terrific story. Thank you for sharing with us, Emma. So we're transitioning now to uh, audience questions. And we have several great questions. And this is really one of your last opportunities to enter a question. So if you do have a question, please enter it now. Uh, my first question is for Kevin a trade centric. How is it that trade centric bridges the gap with technology on suppliers? Uh, so it's a great question, Matt, and uh, thanks for that. Whoever submit that that question in. So basically, what what we do um, from a you know supplier capabilities uh, side is we'll do an assessment on that supplier's capabilities, and basically they have a back end, they have some sort of commerce front end, and they may be limited in their capabilities of what they can output and what um, Mars or someone like them can ingest into their system. So, you know, as Andy mentioned, those suppliers have the ability to go in to Coupa and do a lot of that document management manually. But when the volumes start to get too much, it becomes a lot for resources to manage, to match up. What we end up doing is we'll take what they have from their system and we'll be able to enrich that with data such as GL codes or cost centers making sure the per, uh, purchase order number is applied properly and matches up with the original PO so that it lessens the burden on the buyer side and it allows them to quickly find and approve or uh, invoices for payment. So kind of being able to take whatever's coming out of the supplier side, translate and transform that into something that the buyer can understand and, and quickly move on from. Got it, thank you very much. And kind of a component question, and this is a combo question, I think, for Hema and for Kevin. Uh, with 2,000 hospitals, how has Mars leveraged Cuba to handle procurement from vendors local to each hospital location? Has Trade Center assisted with setting up these vendors through integrations with Coupa, or have you leveraged other Coupa functionality to control and process local vendor spend? So I think that this question is speaking to some of those mom and pop shops that you mentioned earlier, Hema. Yeah, so uh, meaning uh, Coupa as a platform doesn't have meaning. It does provide us all the capabilities to integrate with any suppliers, right? Whether it's a local suppliers or it's a distribution across the entire you know, uh, US. Etc. So there is no limitation from that aspect. It's basically what it boils down to is the capability of the supplier, right? As a supplier, uh, you know, do we have? Do they have? Meaning, depending on what what items you're procuring, but if it's a services, you can put in a free form order within Coupa and then send out a PO as an email, and then the suppliers can invoice this via CSV the Coupa supplier portal that Annie mentioned. So that integration works, right? So depending on what you're what you're buying do we need to uh, get them on a, a catalog uh, what items are you buying and do we need a catalog and also how the volume also matters right um, if we have a significant amount of spend with that supplier is the is the regular e email purchase order and the Coupa supplier portal invoice is that going to be manageable both from our side as well as from the supplier side or do we need further integration that's when trade centric comes in right so based off of those kind of answers to those questions then we decide what's the approach that we want to take right and then and then make the decision and then work with uh, you know trade centric as well as Coupa to figure out what's the ideal solution and then go from there Kevin anything you want to add no, I think you covered it, and I think a lot of the rest of that falls on that previous question, right, of then looking at those suppliers, their capabilities, and determining the best way to integrate them. Got it. All right. Thank you both very much. So we have another question, uh, and this is also, I believe, for Hema, and Kevin, you may comment here. So keeping hosted catalogs up to date can be challenging. Does Trade Centric help Mars keep hosted catalogs accurate? 
Yeah, actually, Annie should be able to jump in on this as well. So Coupa has the capability to allow our suppliers to update the catalogs on whatever cadence they want to have, right? Whether it's a every minute, every hour, once a day, once a week, once a year, whatever the cadence which would be the appropriate, uh, you know, ca uh, you know, uh, cadence that they want to uh, update our catalog, they have the means to do that. Um, so Coupa has this uh, functionality called uh, Coupa uh, Catalog 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 um, Management Content and Catalog Management, correct? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so they, you know, they kind of help to be our middlemen. Like it's an extension of Coupa, by the way. So they kind of work with us to, uh, and then the suppliers to do that integration and then update the catalog in our system on a on a regular basis. Um, so that functionality is there, and that's the reason why, you know, with certain suppliers, hosted catalog makes sense, right? Um, the main difference between hosted catalog and the punch out is the punch out means you're directly going into their e-commerce platform so that the product availability information will be more real time, depending on how, the, how often they update the, their e-commerce platform. But the hosted catalog, you only get that data in based off of, uh, you know, how, how often that, uh, you know, that, uh, integration is built between the supplier and our system. So that's the only difference. But like I said, Coupa does have the capability to, uh, uh, you know, uh, upload the catalogs on a regular basis. That's right. And the managed service that will take care of that that for you. Um, got it. So you don't have to maintain that. Yep. Got it. Hey, and Kevin, kind of piggybacking on that question, maybe you want to comment on how Trade Centric can help an organization, maybe that is trying to maintain a hosted catalog for a buyer like Emma and getting them into a punch out catalog situation so that all of that data is up to date in real time. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Matt. So uh, a couple of things there, right? So trade centric, formerly punch out to go, we are built on the technology of let's enable suppliers on punch out. Uh, so, you know, that's one of our core competencies is being able to work with a multitude of commerce platforms and working with suppliers large and small, you know, from the Shopify to a big commerce to, you know, insert the name of the largest, you know, commerce system that you want. I won't name them all, but basically allowing the, the, the suppliers of all sizes and connecting their data, right? And a lot of them out of the gate, they, they purchase a commerce system, but they never thought about punch out. So, you know, Creating a hosted catalog is easier because, hey, let me just take this data, I'll manipulate it into an Excel spreadsheet. So we'll come in and we'll look at that and do an analysis of their commerce system and, and see how we can get them connected for punch out. And then to build on that a little bit, you think about you know capabilities like uh, level two punch out and being able to do um, punch out from within a hosted catalog. So I'm providing you a hosted catalog, but I want to also go to your site to see the availability and up-to-date pricing. That's something that we also support as well. We actually build that on behalf of, of, of suppliers that have running, functioning punch-out sites today, but they don't have that ability to support that level two. We kind of can build that for them as well. And then the last piece, and it's asked, you know, the question was, how do you support uh, hosted content? That's not a core service of ours right now. Um, but we've heard from suppliers out there that they're looking for ways as the technology advances, you know, API feeds, direct feeds into catalogs. So it's something we're exploring for, you know, is it worth it on a future roadmap? Uh, but from a from a building and, and hosting and up and updating hosted catalogs, it's not something that we currently support. Yeah. <clears throat> And though I'm not a, a panelist or speaker, I would add to your comment, Kevin, that we also maintain relationships that are very close with many of these e-com providers. So if you have suppliers that are interested in that e-com or punch out journey, but lack the technical capabilities or skills, we certainly have the resources and the relationships to get them connected to the right partner that can help them get up and running in a very, in a very fast turnaround time. So, just looking to see okay so i just have one final question from the audience that i'm going to share um so Hema, just for someone who is starting out or considering pursuing an automation path with coupa and trade centric what advice would you share that you wish you knew at the beginning of that journey hmm. very interesting question um 
I think we kind of did this uh, with our journey, maybe not that much in the beginning of the journey, but as we prolonged, we kind of uh, took this approach. Uh, understanding your spend is a critical one, right? Like which suppliers you want to tackle because you're not able to be, you know, we won't be able to get our, you know, 100% of our suppliers uh, to be procured through, uh, you know, any procurement platform, right? Because some of these suppliers, it doesn't make sense to put a purchase order together. For instance, cremation is a good example, right? Because the cremation, the uh, order of the cremation is all done within our PMS practice management system. So it truly really doesn't make sense to raise a purchase order for those kind of uh, spend. So understanding your spend and your suppliers is step number one. And once you're there, then you then you uh, uh, t you know uh, group them up in tiers, right? Tier one is th those your high spend, high volume. Your tier two is your middle layer ones where you have lot a lot of spend but not that much of a invoice volume. When I say volume, it's more like how much invoices, how much orders do you spend, you know, uh, do, do you have with them? And then your lower tier uh, spend where you have, you might have high spend, but it might not have a significant amount of volume. For instance, consulting is a good example for the tier three, right? We might be spending, um, you know, significant amount of money, but with, it might just be like one order and one invoice at the end of the day, right? So with that tiering approach, it helps you to think about, okay, what do I need? And, uh, and in that case, then you can make your decision to say, do you know which platform first and then um hey do we need a third party integration like trade center to help us with this integration right because your suppliers in that pool might not have the capability that uh, in terms of integrating with your procurement platform so that's where trade centric come in play and same thing in the middle tier too uh you might want to think in those terms and uh, having a third party integration partner makes more sense the lower tier will be pretty much you know can be solved i'm just speaking just with having coupa in mind right as my as our procurement platform where it's it should be automated within using coupa uh, as a procurement platform so you might, you don't need like a third party integration partner there so that is what the approach i would advise based off of it, our experience the you know throughout this journey terrific thank you so much for sharing so that concludes uh, our q and a thank you all for all of those who entered questions uh, for the presentation. Please keep an eye out for communication from Coupa and Trade Centric as a follow up from this webinar with resources um, that are associated with that. Uh, and with that, we'll close. Thank you all for attending. Um, and uh, feel free to reach out to either Coupa or Trade Centric if you have questions as well. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you.